Hey, this is Jackie from eslactivity.org. So today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite activities, Dictogloss. So Dictogloss is such a good listening activity, and I generally will use it kind of for higher level students as opposed to lower level ones. So the way it works is that you can find or write a passage for whatever grammar or, or vocabulary point that you want to cover. Um, you can often look in ESL textbooks who will, that will have like a story or something, or um, I'll write my own um, if it's for like a Christmas activity or Valentine's Day or something like that. So I put students into pairs and they each need a pen and a piece of paper, and then I read out the story at a faster than normal pace for the level of students. And the students will get a little bit stressed out. They'll say like, what, what, what? Like, like slow down, it's, it's too fast. But that's actually the point. So students have to take notes um, about what they hear and try to get the key words. And then in pairs, they talk together to attempt to kind of recreate the skeleton of the story that they've heard. And then I'll read out the story one more time and students go with their partners and do the same thing. And then in the end, um, students can compare what they have with the original version. So students can do this just um, orally by speaking to each other, or they can try to write out um, the story to make it very similar to what you read. So either way, it depends on the level of students and what you're going to focus on in that class. All right, so that's one simple activity that you can try out with your students today, Dictogloss. Um, so if you want more ideas for how to review things in your ESL classes, be sure to check out my book on Amazon, 39 ESL Review Activities for Teenagers and Adults, and I also have a version for kids. All right, so please hit like, subscribe, tell your friends. All right, bye everybody.